your travel documentation is probably some of the most important physical materials that you can manage. Do you make copies of your travel documentation? And if you do, how many and what do you do with them? We'll talk about it today. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco, welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, we would invite you to subscribe. If you like cruise tips, cruise news, cruise vlogs, anything to do with cruising, La Lita Loca is the place for you. Consider subscribing with the notification bell on. This is day 16 of our cruise count up. We only have 15 more days until we cruise on the Carnival Breeze, and we're doing a special series. We're giving 31 cruise tips a day, and we're inviting you to help us out by giving your cruise tips. Leave a tip in the comments below. We're picking a comment every day, pinning it to the top, and at the end, we're gonna draw out of the 31 pinned comments and give away a prize pack that we put together on our Carnival Breeze cruise. Somebody I know may get anxious about travel documentation. Somebody I know may check, recheck, verify, make sure that the travel documentation is with us in the car, may make sure it's with us at the port, make sure it's with us when we're on the ship, Okay, it's me, I'll raise a hand. I am always worried that I'm going to lose my passport, that I'm not gonna be able to find it when I get on the cruise ship, that I'm not gonna be able to find it when I get off the cruise ship, and so I am hypersensitive about my passport, which I don't think that's unrealistic. That really is your key to do this cruise vacation. You gotta have the proper travel documentation to get to where you need to go. One thing that's helped me be less anxious about my travel documentation is I make some copies of it and I leave it in a few places. So let me tell you what I do with my travel documentation. First of all, I make color copies of our passports and I leave a copy at home and then I take a copy with me on the cruise ship that I leave in my safe. And then the third thing that I do is I take a photograph on my phone of my passport. So I've got it basically in triplicate. So this is what I do, and here's the main thing to keep in mind. You just have to know what the requirements of the port that you're visiting is. Do they require a physical passport? Do they just require your ship card and some sort of photo ID? Uh, you can make your decisions based off of those, but what I do is I always carry my passport. I read an article a year ago from the State Department that said always carry your passport with you uh, in case you get left, in case you get stopped by any local authorities, you have this binding passport document that you can show them. Now, I know that there's folks that if they're not required to take their passport to port, if you only need the ship card and the ID, they prefer to leave their passport in the safe on the cruise, maybe take the photocopy of the passport. And this is the thought process. If you miss the ship, my understanding is they will empty out the contents of your safe and they will leave it on the dock with whoever's there to help you on the next step of the process if you miss the ship. I don't know which cruise lines that are true for, I don't know if that's all cruise lines, but I do know that I've been told that that happens, I think, on Carnival. So for me, I don't wanna worry about that. I just carry my passport. I know the biggest fear there is if I lose my passport in a foreign land, if I get stolen, but I have a good process for managing my passport when I'm off the ship and I still like having it for going in and out. And plus, if there's a place where you can get a souvenir passport stamp, it's cool to get stamps in your passport. So I prefer to carry the passport, but that's not the hard and fast rule. I know not everybody does that. But all that aside, the big takeaway from the tip video today is to make copies. You don't wanna have just one copy of your travel documentation. Leave it with somebody that you trust. Take an extra copy with you on the cruise ship and that way you've got it backed up not only on your phone because you've taken a picture, but you've got some hard color copies in case you get into a jam. It's that cruise life. You never know what's gonna happen, but at least you got your documentation, which is really what you need to get back and forth in and out of the country. The question for the comments is this, uh, do you make copies of your travel documentation? What is your process? Where do you keep them? Do you take your passport off the cruise ship? Love to hear your tips in the comment below. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow all of our social media. This is Tony with La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.